I am thrilled to share this message with you today. We all understand the feeling of being trapped in our comfort zones, where everything feels secure and familiar. But what if I told you that true magic happens when we step beyond those boundaries? In today's message, we'll discuss five ways to break free from your comfort zone and unlock unprecedented growth and success. I know firsthand how daunting it can be to take that leap into the unknown, but I've also experienced the incredible rewards it brings. You're not alone in this struggle. We all encounter moments of feeling stuck and comfortable. However, it's up to us to make the choice to break free and strive for something greater. If you're ready to turn things around and step out of your comfort zone, then you've come to the right place. By the end of this message, you'll have a clear understanding of how to overcome your fears and limitations, embracing new opportunities for personal growth and success. So let's dive in and prepare to step out of that comfort zone and into a life of fulfillment and achievement. Are you ready? Let's start with number five. It's an honor to be here today to share with you one of the most crucial lessons I've learned in life. This lesson has not only transformed my own life, but also the lives of countless others. It has the power to unlock your full potential and take you to heights you never thought possible. And that lesson is this. Embrace failure. Yes, you heard me right. Embrace failure. It may sound counterintuitive, but it's the key to stepping out of your comfort zone and achieving greatness. We live in a society that fears failure, where it's seen as a sign of weakness or incompetence. But what if I told you that failure is not something to be feared but embraced? What if I told you that failure is not the end but the beginning of a journey towards success? Failure is not the opposite of success. It's a part of it. Through our failures, we learn, grow, and become better versions of ourselves. Every successful person has faced failure at some point in their lives. But they didn't let it define them. They used it as fuel to propel themselves towards success. So how do we embrace failure? How do we shift our mindset from seeing it as something to be avoided to something to be celebrated? The first step is to change our definition of failure. Instead of seeing it as a negative outcome, see it as a learning experience, an opportunity to grow and improve. The second step is to take responsibility for our failures. It's easy to blame others or external circumstances, but we're the ones in control of our actions and decisions. When we take responsibility, we take back our power and can use our failures as stepping stones towards success. The third step is to learn from our failures. Every failure has a lesson to teach us. It's up to us to reflect on what went wrong, what we can do differently next time, and how we can use this experience to become better. The fourth step is to keep trying. Failure is not a one-time event. It's a part of the journey towards success. We must have the resilience and determination to keep going despite our failures. As long as we keep trying, we're not failing, we're learning and growing. And finally, the fifth step is to celebrate our failures. Every failure brings us one step closer to success. Instead of beating ourselves up over our failures, let's celebrate them as a sign that we're taking action, pushing ourselves, and on the path toward greatness. I know it's not easy to embrace failure. It goes against everything we've been taught. But once you do, once you see it as a natural and necessary part of the journey towards success, your life will never be the same. You'll have the courage to take risks, to step out of your comfort zone, and to pursue your dreams. You'll learn from your failures and use them as fuel to propel you toward your goals. You'll become more resilient, more determined, and more confident. And most importantly, you'll live a life without regrets. Moving on to number four, as human beings, we're creatures of habit. We find comfort in routine and familiarity, sticking to what we know because it makes us feel safe and secure. But when was the last time you did something that scared you? When was the last time you took a leap of faith and stepped outside of your comfort zone? I can guarantee you that the most successful and fulfilled people in this world have one thing in common. They're not afraid to step out of their comfort zone. They understand that growth and progress lie outside of their comfort zone. And one of the best ways to break out of your comfort zone is by meeting new people. Now, I know that for some of you, the thought of meeting new people may seem daunting. You may be thinking, 
but I'm an introvert. I'm not good at making small talk or meeting new people. Well, let me tell you this. I used to be an introvert too. But I realized that if I wanted to achieve my goals and dreams, I had to step out of my comfort zone and connect with new people. Meeting new people opens up a whole new world of opportunities. It allows you to learn from different perspectives, gain new insights, and expand your network. And let me tell you, your network is your net worth. The people you surround yourself with have a significant impact on your personal and professional growth. So why limit yourself to the same group of people when there's a whole world of potential connections out there? I understand that stepping out of your comfort zone can be uncomfortable and even scary at times. But growth and comfort cannot coexist. If you want to grow and reach your full potential, you must be willing to get uncomfortable. And meeting new people is an excellent way to do just that. So how can you start meeting new people and stepping out of your comfort zone? The first step is to have an open mind. Be willing to put yourself out there and be open to new experiences and connections. Remember, you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. The next step is to be proactive. Don't wait for opportunities to come to you. Go out and create them. Attend networking events, join clubs or organizations that align with your interests, or simply strike up a conversation with someone new. You never know where these connections may lead you. And when you do meet new people, don't be afraid to ask questions and listen. People love to talk about themselves, and by showing genuine interest in them, you can build a strong connection. And who knows, you may learn something new or find a common interest that can lead to a valuable relationship. But let me warn you, stepping out of your comfort zone and meeting new people does not mean changing who you are or trying to fit in. Be authentic and true to yourself. People are drawn to genuine and confident individuals. So don't be afraid to be yourself. I also want to address the fear of rejection. I know that for some of you, the thought of being rejected by someone you want to connect with can be terrifying. But rejection is a part of life. It's how we learn and grow. And the truth is, the more you put yourself out there, the more likely you are to face rejection. But remember, rejection is not a reflection of your worth or value as a person. It's simply a part of the process. So don't let the fear of rejection hold you back from meeting new people and stepping out of your comfort zone. Now, I want to share a personal story with you. When I first started my career, I was working as a salesman. And let me tell you, I was not a natural at it. But I knew that if I wanted to succeed, I had to step out of my comfort zone and connect with potential clients. So I would go to networking events and strike up conversations with strangers. And you know what? It was uncomfortable and scary at first. But I kept pushing myself, and you know what happened. I started making connections, and my sales began to increase. By stepping out of my comfort zone and meeting new people, I was able to achieve success in my career. So my challenge to you today is to step out of your comfort zone and meet new people. Whether it's at a networking event, a social gathering, or even online, Make an effort to connect with someone new. You never know how that connection may impact your life. Moving on to number three, my friends, I want to share with you one of the most powerful ways to step out of your comfort zone and expand your horizons, traveling to new places. I understand some of you might be thinking, but Jim, traveling can be expensive and time consuming. How can it possibly help me in my personal development journey? Well, my friends, let me assure you that the benefits of traveling far outweigh any costs or inconveniences. First and foremost, traveling allows you to break free from your routine and step outside of your comfort zone. We all have our daily routines that we're comfortable with, but it's in those moments of discomfort that we truly grow and learn. When you travel to a new place, everything is unfamiliar and unknown. You're forced to adapt and navigate through new environments, cultures, and languages. This challenges your mind and expands your perspective, making you more adaptable and open-minded. Think of it this way. When you're at home, you're in your comfort zone. But when you travel, you're thrown into a new environment where you have to figure things out on your own. This pushes you to think outside the box and be resourceful. And as we all know, personal growth happens outside of our comfort zone. Moreover, 
Traveling allows you to gain new experiences and create unforgettable memories. These experiences can range from trying new foods, learning about different cultures, or even facing your fears by trying out new activities. These experiences not only add richness to your life but also contribute to your personal growth. For example, if you have a fear of heights, traveling to a place with stunning landscapes and breathtaking views can challenge you to face that fear. And once you conquer it, you'll come back home with a newfound confidence and a sense of accomplishment. Additionally, traveling exposes you to different perspectives and ways of life. It's easy to get caught up in our own little bubble and think that our way of life is the only way. But when we travel, we're exposed to different cultures, beliefs, and customs. This allows us to see the world through a different lens and understand that there's not just one right way to live. This exposure to different perspectives also helps us become more empathetic and understanding towards others. Furthermore, traveling allows you to step out of your comfort zone in a physical sense as well. It pushes you to try new things and be more adventurous. And this adventurous spirit can carry over into other aspects of your life. You may find yourself trying new hobbies, taking on new challenges, or even pursuing new career opportunities that you never thought possible before. But perhaps the most significant benefit of traveling is the self-discovery that comes with it. When you're away from your familiar surroundings and daily responsibilities, you have the time and space to reflect on yourself and your life. You may discover new passions, interests, or even a new sense of purpose. Traveling also allows you to disconnect from the distractions of everyday life and be present in the moment. It forces you to slow down, appreciate the beauty around you, and be grateful for what you have. And this gratitude and mindfulness can greatly contribute to your personal growth and overall well-being. Now, I know that not everyone has the means to travel to far-off destinations. But let me tell you, traveling doesn't have to mean going to exotic locations or spending a lot of money. It can be as simple as taking a road trip to a nearby town, exploring a new neighborhood in your city, or even trying out a new restaurant. The key is to step out of your comfort zone and expose yourself to new experiences and perspectives. Moving on to number two, I want to talk to you about one powerful way to step out of your comfort zone, taking on new challenges. We all have our comfort zones, those familiar and safe spaces where we feel at ease and in control. It's human nature to seek comfort and security, and there's nothing wrong with that. However, if we want to grow and achieve our dreams, we must be willing to step out of our comfort zones and embrace new challenges. Why is it so important to take on new challenges? Because it's in the face of challenges that we discover our true capabilities and potential. Every great achievement in human history was the result of someone stepping out of their comfort zone and taking on a new challenge. From inventors to athletes, leaders to entrepreneurs, they all had to overcome their fears and doubts and push themselves beyond their limits. But here's the thing, stepping out of our comfort zones is not easy. It requires courage, determination, and the willingness to fail. Yes, failure is a possibility when we take on new challenges, but it's also an opportunity for growth and learning. As the saying goes, a smooth sea never made a skilled sailor. So if we want to become the best versions of ourselves, we must be willing to face challenges head-on and embrace the discomfort that comes with it. Now, you may be wondering, how can we step out of our comfort zones and take on new challenges? Well, the first step is to identify what your comfort zone is. What are the things that you're comfortable with? What are the things that you're afraid to do? Once you've identified your comfort zone, it's time to think about what challenges you can take on to push yourself out of it. The key here is to start small. You don't have to take on a massive challenge right away. Instead, start with something that makes you slightly uncomfortable. It could be something as simple as trying a new hobby learning a new skill, or speaking in front of a small group of people. The important thing is that it should be something that takes you out of your comfort zone but is still achievable. As you start to conquer these smaller challenges, you'll gain confidence and momentum to take on bigger ones. Remember, stepping out of your comfort zone is a process, and it takes time and practice. Don't expect to become a completely different person overnight. 
It's about making small, consistent steps towards growth and progress. Another important aspect of taking on new challenges is having the right mindset. You must believe in yourself and your abilities. As Henry Ford once said, whether you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. So believe that you can overcome any challenge that comes your way, and you will. It's also essential to have a support system in place. Surround yourself with people who believe in you and encourage you to step out of your comfort zone. They'll be there to cheer you on but also to pick you up when you stumble. And remember, it's okay to ask for help and support when you need it. Now, I want to address a common misconception about stepping out of your comfort zone. Many people believe that it means taking risks and being reckless. But that's not true. Stepping out of your comfort zone is not about being reckless. It's about being calculated and strategic. It's about taking calculated risks that have the potential to bring you closer to your goals and dreams. Lastly, I want to share with you the benefits of stepping out of your comfort zone. When we challenge ourselves and push ourselves out of our comfort zones, we not only grow and develop as individuals, but we also open ourselves up to new opportunities and experiences. We learn new skills, gain new perspectives, and become more resilient. And most importantly, we become the best versions of ourselves. So my friends, I challenge you to try new things. Make it a habit to do something new every day, no matter how small. It could be something as simple as taking a different route to work or trying a new type of coffee. And as you continue to try new things, you'll gradually break free from your comfort zone and experience a life of endless possibilities. In part two of this speech, we'll delve deeper into the topic of personal development and how trying new things is just the beginning of our journey towards growth and success. But for now, I want you to remember this. The only way to step out of your comfort zone is by trying new things. So go out there and embrace the unknown, because that's where true growth and success lie. Thank you. I'm excited to share with you today's message on how to achieve more with less effort. I know many of you may be feeling overwhelmed, exhausted, and frustrated with the constant demands of life. It seems like no matter how hard we work, there's always more to be done, and it can be exhausting. But here's the thing, you are not alone in this struggle. In fact, it's a common challenge that many of us face. However, the good news is there are ways to overcome this and turn things around. That's why I'm excited to share with you today five powerful ways to achieve more with less effort. These strategies have helped countless individuals, including myself, to increase productivity, reduce stress, and ultimately achieve more with less effort. So if you're ready to take control of your life and make the most out of your time and energy, then you're in the right place. By the end of this video, you will have a clear understanding of how to achieve more with less effort and start living a more fulfilled and successful life. So without further ado, let's dive into our five ways to achieve more with less effort, starting with the fifth way. 5. Achieve more with less effort by taking breaks and recharge. Now, I know what you're thinking. How can taking breaks help us achieve more? But trust me, my friends, it is a crucial step in our journey towards success. We live in a society that glorifies the hustle and grind culture. We are constantly bombarded with messages that tell us to work harder, longer, and without breaks. But the truth is, this mentality is not sustainable. We are not machines. We are human beings. And just like any machine, we need to rest and recharge in order to function at our best. Think about it. When was the last time you took a real break from work? And I don't mean scrolling through social media or binge watching your favorite TV show. I mean a real break where you disconnect from work and allow your mind and body to rest. If you can't remember, then it's time to make a change. Taking breaks is not a sign of weakness. It is a sign of strength and self-awareness. It shows that you value your well-being and understand the importance of recharging your batteries. And let me tell you, my friends, when you take breaks and recharge, you will achieve more with less effort. But how exactly does this work? When we work for long periods without breaks, our productivity and focus start to decline. Our brains get tired, and we start making more mistakes. We become less efficient, 
and it takes us longer to complete tasks. And what do we do when we are not seeing results? We work even harder, thinking that it will make a difference. But the truth is, it only leads to burnout and exhaustion. On the other hand, when we take breaks, we give our brains a chance to rest and recharge. This allows us to come back to our work with a fresh perspective and renewed energy. We are able to think more clearly, make better decisions, and our productivity and creativity increase. And the best part, we don't feel drained and exhausted at the end of the day. But taking breaks is not just about resting our minds, it is also about taking care of our physical health. Sitting at a desk for hours on end can lead to a sedentary lifestyle, which can have negative effects on our health. Taking breaks allows us to get up, move our bodies, and get some much needed exercise. This not only improves our physical health but also increases our energy levels and improves our mood. Now, I know some of you may be thinking, but Jim, I have so much work to do. I can't afford to take breaks. My friends, I understand that you may have a lot on your plate. But let me ask you this. What good is it to work non-stop if you are not producing quality work? Wouldn't it be better to take a break, recharge, and come back to your work with a clear mind and fresh perspective? Trust me, the quality of your work will improve, and you will achieve more in less time. But taking breaks is not just about resting and recharging, it is also about finding balance in our lives. We cannot be successful if we are constantly burning ourselves out. We need to find a balance between work and play, between hustle and rest. And taking breaks is a crucial step in achieving that balance. 4. Achieve more with less effort by focusing on quality over quantity. Now, this may seem counterintuitive at first. After all, isn't it logical that the more we do, the more we achieve? But I'm here to tell you that that is not always the case. Let me share with you a personal story. When I first started my journey towards success, I was eager and determined to do as much as I could. I believed that the more tasks I completed, the closer I would be to my goal. But as time went by, I realized that I was spreading myself too thin. I was doing a lot, but I wasn't doing anything exceptionally well. And that is when I understood the power of quality over quantity. You see, when we focus on quantity, we tend to overlook the importance of quality. We rush through tasks, cut corners, and compromise on the standards we set for ourselves. But when we shift our focus to quality, we take the time to do things right. We pay attention to the details, put in our best effort, and hold ourselves to a higher standard. Some of you may be thinking, but Jim, doesn't focusing on quality mean that we do less? And my answer to that is yes, it does. But let me ask you this. Would you rather do 10 things half-heartedly, or one thing with all your heart and soul? I believe the answer is clear. Focusing on quality over quantity also means that we prioritize and eliminate the unnecessary. We learn to say no to things that do not align with our goals and values. We focus on the tasks that truly matter and give them our undivided attention. This not only saves us time and energy but also allows us to produce exceptional results. Another benefit of focusing on quality is that it sets us apart from the crowd. In a world where everyone is chasing after quantity, being someone who values quality stands out. It shows that we have a strong work ethic, attention to detail, and a desire for excellence. And these are qualities that are highly sought after in any field. Now, I am not saying that quantity is not important. It certainly has its place. But when we make quality our priority, we can achieve more with less effort. We no longer have to spread ourselves too thin, and we can focus on the things that truly matter. So how can we incorporate this principle into our lives? The first step is to set high standards for ourselves. We must strive for excellence in everything we do, whether it is a small task or a big project. We must give it our best effort and aim for perfection. Secondly, we must learn to prioritize and eliminate the unnecessary. This means saying no to things that do not align with our goals and focusing on the tasks that will bring us closer to our dreams. And lastly, we must be patient and persistent. Achieving quality takes time and effort. It requires us to slow down and pay attention to the details. 
but the results are worth it. When we focus on quality, we not only achieve more but also find joy and fulfillment in our work. 3. Achieve more with less effort by using technology and tools. Now, some of you may be wondering, how can technology and tools help us achieve more with less effort? Well, let me tell you, my friends, technology and tools are like a magic wand that can help us transform our lives and businesses. Firstly, let's talk about technology. It has made our lives so much easier and efficient. We no longer have to spend hours doing mundane tasks that can now be automated. Take, for example, the use of computers and the internet. With just a few clicks, we can access a vast amount of information, connect with people from all over the world, and even run our businesses from the comfort of our own homes. But it's not just about the convenience and speed that technology offers. It's also about the opportunities it presents. With the rise of social media and e-commerce, we now have the ability to reach a global audience and market our products and services to a much larger customer base. This allows us to achieve more with less effort, as we no longer have to physically go out and market our businesses. We can do it all from our computers or even our smartphones. Now, let's talk about tools. Tools are like the cherry on top of the cake. They are the extra boost that can take us from good to great. There are countless tools available to us today, from project management tools to marketing automation software. These tools not only save us time and effort, but also help us streamline our processes and make them more efficient. For example, if you're a business owner, you can use project management tools to keep track of your tasks and deadlines, collaborate with your team, and monitor your progress. This not only helps you achieve more with less effort, but also ensures that your projects are completed on time and to the best of your ability. Similarly, if you're a content creator, you can use tools like Canva or Adobe Creative Suite to create stunning visuals for your social media or website. These tools not only save you time and effort, but also help you create professional-looking content that can attract more viewers and potential customers. But it's not just about business, my friends. Tools can also help us in our personal lives. For example, there are countless apps available that can help us track our fitness, manage our finances, and even improve our mental well-being. These tools can help us achieve our personal goals with less effort, as they provide us with the necessary guidance and support. Now, I know some of you may be thinking, but Jim, all this technology and tools sound great. But how do we know which ones to use? And that's a valid question. With so many options available, it can be overwhelming to choose the right ones. But my advice to you is to do your research, read reviews, and ask for recommendations from people you trust. And most importantly, don't be afraid to try new things. You never know which tool or technology might be the game changer for you. 2. Achieve more with less effort by delegating tasks. Now, I know some of you might be thinking, but Jim, isn't hard work the key to success? How can we achieve more by delegating tasks? And I understand your skepticism. But let me tell you, delegating tasks is not about avoiding hard work. It is about working smarter, not harder. You see, we all have limited time and energy. We cannot do everything ourselves, and even if we try, we will eventually burn out. But by delegating tasks, we can utilize our time and energy in the most efficient way possible. We can focus on the tasks that truly require our attention and leave the rest to others. This not only helps us achieve more in less time, but also allows us to maintain a better work-life balance. Now, some of you might be thinking, but Jim, I don't have anyone to delegate tasks to. I am a one-person show. Well, my friends, let me tell you, there is always a way. You can delegate tasks to your family members, friends, or even hire someone to help you. The key is to identify the tasks that can be delegated and find the right people to delegate them to. But before we dive into the how of delegating tasks, let's first understand why it is so important. You see, when we try to do everything ourselves, we limit our potential. We only have a certain set of skills and knowledge, and by delegating tasks, we can tap into the skills and knowledge of others. This not only helps us achieve more, but also brings new ideas and perspectives to the table. Moreover, 
Delegating tasks also helps us build a team. We cannot achieve great success alone. We need a team of like-minded individuals who can support us and help us grow. By delegating tasks, we not only lighten our workload but also give others the opportunity to learn and grow. And when we have a strong team, we can achieve much more with less effort. Now, let's talk about how to delegate tasks effectively. First and foremost, you need to identify the tasks that can be delegated. These are the tasks that are not your core responsibilities and can be done by others. Once you have identified these tasks, you need to find the right people to delegate them to. Look for individuals who have the skills and knowledge to handle these tasks and, most importantly, trust them to do the job. Yes, trust is a crucial element when it comes to delegating tasks. You need to trust the people you delegate tasks to, and this trust comes from effective communication. Clearly communicate your expectations and provide all the necessary information and resources for the task. But at the same time, give them the freedom to work in their own way. This not only builds trust but also allows them to bring their unique skills and ideas to the table. Another important aspect of delegating tasks is to provide feedback. Don't just delegate a task and forget about it. Check in with the person, provide feedback, and offer support if needed. This not only helps the person improve but also ensures that the task is completed to your satisfaction. And finally, don't be afraid to delegate important tasks. I know it can be scary to let go of tasks that are crucial for your success. But trust me, it is worth it. By delegating important tasks, you not only free up your time and energy but also give others the opportunity to step up and grow. And when you have a team of individuals who can handle important tasks, you can achieve much more with less effort. 1. Achieve more with less effort by prioritizing your task. Now, you may be wondering, why is this the number one way? The answer is simple. Because prioritizing your tasks allows you to focus your time and energy on the most important things, which ultimately leads to greater productivity and success. Let me share with you a story from my own life. When I first started my career, I was a young, ambitious man with big dreams. I had a long list of things I wanted to achieve, and I was determined to do them all. I was constantly busy, running from one task to another, trying to get everything done. But at the end of the day, I felt exhausted, and I realized that I wasn't making much progress towards my goals. That's when I learned the power of prioritizing. I took a step back and looked at my to-do list. I realized that not all tasks were equal. Some were more important than others, and some were just time wasters. So I made a list of my top priorities and focused all my energy on them. And you know what? I started seeing results. I was achieving more with less effort because I was focusing on the tasks that truly mattered. This is the key to success, knowing what tasks deserve your time and energy. We all have 24 hours in a day, and how we use those hours determines our success. We cannot control time, but we can control how we use it. And that's where prioritizing comes in. Now, let me share with you three simple steps to help you prioritize your tasks and achieve more with less effort. Step 1. Identify your goals. The first step is to identify your goals. What do you want to achieve? What are your long-term and short-term goals? Once you have a clear understanding of your goals, you can then break them down into smaller, actionable tasks. For example, if your goal is to start a successful business, your tasks may include market research, creating a business plan, and networking. By identifying your goals, you can then prioritize these tasks based on their importance and urgency. Step 2. Determine the importance and urgency of your task. The second step is to determine the importance and urgency of your task. This is where the famous Eisenhower matrix comes into play. This matrix categorizes tasks into four quadrants. Important and urgent, important but not urgent, urgent but not important, and neither important nor urgent. The key here is to focus on the important tasks, whether they are urgent or not. These are the tasks that will bring you closer to your goals and have a long-term impact on your success. The urgent but not important tasks can be delegated or eliminated. 
while the neither important nor urgent tasks can be put on hold or eliminated altogether. Step 3. Take action. The final step is to take action. Prioritizing your tasks is only effective if you actually take action on them. So make a plan and stick to it. Focus on your top priorities and allocate your time and energy accordingly. And remember, it's okay to say no to tasks that don't align with your goals or don't add value to your life. By following these three simple steps, you will be able to prioritize your tasks and achieve more with less effort. You will have a clear direction, and your time and energy will be focused on the things that truly matter. I want to leave you with this quote by Stephen Covey, The key is not to prioritize what's on your schedule, but to schedule your priorities. So my challenge to you is to start prioritizing your tasks today and see the difference it makes in your life. Remember, success is not about doing more. It's about doing the right things. Thank you.